Hi, I'm pretty excited today because I'm going to be installing a TV mount on this wall and I'm putting up a TV. I'm in my unfinished basement and Pippi Shell sent along their, this super duper TV mount for me to go ahead and give it a try and give it a, a fair and honest review and that's what I'm going to do. First things first, I just want to say this is a super heavy duty mount. Uh, it can hold up to 99 pounds on the mount and the 99 pound TV is actually pretty rare these days. Uh, you can kind of see how this thing, whole thing works. So I will actually attach this plate to the wall. This is all steel. And then the way it works is you can kind of stretch it out. You have this arm. You can go to the left. You can go to the right. So your TV will be mounted here. Uh, it can tilt up and down. Kind of, a, I think, a 10 or 15 degree angle downward if you wish. Uh, but you can kind of also, and then you'll also have plates that will actually slide back and forth on here. So that, this is everything you get with the Pippi Shell TV mount. Uh, it's a full motion TV mount, so it does actually slide back and forth, tilt up and down, and go ahead and tilt left and right. And you'll see all the motion once everything's installed. But these are all the parts. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. You have some instruction manuals. You have plenty of screws. You have the actual mount itself, as well as some... Uh, crossbars for going back and forth, and you even have a drilling template. That's kind of nice. That makes things a little bit easier. Here's the back of my TV. It's on the floor. I was using it somewhere else, but now I'm going to go ahead and install it in my basement. So there are four holes. One, two, three, four. These four holes are where I'll actually install the brackets. I'm going to go ahead and look for the exact screws that I need, and then go ahead and put the brackets on the back. One of the great things about this mount is that it comes with a ton of different screws and washers and even spacers to use with whatever kind of TV you actually have. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out exactly what screws I need for my TV. And then I'm going to go ahead and install these two mounts to the back of the TV. Your TV may differ. Uh, the instruction manuals have a whole bunch of different options. But for my TV, I'm actually going to be using a spacer underneath and then the screw and the washer on top. And I will mount, be mounting my two brackets like this. First things first, I've already sort of found the studs and marked where I want to actually put the TV. Uh, I want to actually put it a couple inches from the, the ceiling here. I have a low ceiling in this particular part uh, of the basement. And then I want to go ahead and go left and right on this wall. And what I've done is I've used a stud finder and I found some studs. I have a stud about right here and I have a stud about right here. So I'm going to use my template. And I'm going to kind of figure out where to mount this uh, TV. This plastic or this paper template actually fits with the actual mount. So I can go ahead, I can kind of hold it up, and I'm going to mark some holes in the wall to where I'm actually going to go ahead and put my mount. Okay, so here's where I'm going to drill my first hole. I don't like to level off of a paper template, so I'm going to actually go ahead and hold up my frame, and I'm going to put this screw in, and then I'm going to go ahead and level off this. So all I do now is I'll level it out, I'll put the next screw in. When I use these things, uh, these mounts do come with levels. I don't typically use them. I typically use my own level that I actually trust. So I'm leveling it out. I put one screw in, I'm leveling it out, and I know that this is where my next screw has to be. It's in the stud line, and it's part of the frame, so that's where I'm going to put my next screw. Once you've got the frame on, now you can go ahead and set the TV on. And here's my son and I lifting it up and putting it onto the actual brackets. You may need a friend for this. TVs are bulky. They aren't real heavy these days. But they are bulky and then once you see once it hooks on it's secure you just need to close up the little clasps and then you tie some screws into it and you're done it's nice and secure one of the wonderful parts about this is that i can turn the tv and now i can actually get to the back of the tv i love this i can get to all the ports i can get to the power over here i can put screws into the frame which i have to right here i can move it around this makes an installation of the tv itself much easier so here we go, my TV is now mounted. This is an amazing mount, look at this. I can turn it like this, I can angle it towards this way, I can pull it out. I am just pulling the TV itself, comes out a fair bit. Actually it will come out even further if I want. I can move it to the left and to the right, look at that. Now, this is a, I believe, 60 inch TV, maybe 58, uh, 57 inch TV and it fits great. Uh, it does not weigh anywhere close to 99 pounds, which is a limit for this particular bracket. Tilt it back. Very, very easy. The cool thing is everything's nice and tight and it all does tighten up nice and uh, nice and well. You see if I get it just right, it looks pretty good to me. Now, the cool, the cool thing about this is that you can go behind the scenes. I can pull this out and I can get to all the wires, 
all the cords, all the inputs nice and easily. I'm not a small guy and I fit back here just fine. That is great. No more fiddling, no more reaching up blind and trying to plug things in. I can pull everything out, unplug stuff, put the right stuff in, make sure I get the right port, and then go ahead and push it back into place, and it works great. Again, this mount was really, really great. The amount of space I have back here, the amount of flexibility, the amount of maneuverability I have with my TV, and how I can adjust it and get to different spots. It's a wonderful mount. I would strongly recommend it. Uh, and I actually have another TV that I need to go ahead and install probably in the next couple of months. I'm going to go ahead and get another one of these mounts and use it because I'm totally convinced this is the way to go.